Hello and welcome to the channel. If you love most things 1980s, but not limited to, then search no further, you come to the right place. So please subscribe. Thank you. All right, folks, I had to do it. I couldn't wait any longer. I had to do it. We're gonna get up. We're gonna jump back. I'm gonna jump back into some more Pink Floyd from their Pulse live concert. Bam, right here. And I gotta get on my number three, my number three favorite song off that album, which is Another Brick in the Wall, part two, which is actually, uh, I forget the name of the uh, one or one and a half minute intro into that, but it's all combined that makes this my favorite. But Another Brick in the Wall, part two, is my third favorite song off the wall album and it's very very tight race like i said in my video with run like hell those two are so tight but we're gonna jump into this i can't wait to see this let's get the video up i'm sure you guys don't mind right i'm gonna jam out to some another brick in the wall let's do this let's go Just a little bit bigger. Seems just a touch slower. Maybe they'll speed up. Sorry guys, I gotta hear that one more time. Didn't mean to kill the vibe, but dude, that was freaking awesome. Sounds so good.
nice shot. awesome. Just lower that guy there. This is hotel.com a bit. That was awesome. Mm. So I made a comment. <clears throat> what song was it? It was off the Comfortably Numb off this, off this uh, concert. And I was talking about the backup singing ladies there. And I mentioned that the first time that I remember seeing that that song or any concert, Pink Floyd Live, was on MTV, mid to late 80s. <clears throat> and I just remember how the ladies were dancing and swaying and everything to the to the guitar solo. And <clears throat> I wasn't sure if, if they kept the same women uh, on tour with them. But two of those, two of those ladies, Actually, the girl, the girl or the lady in the in the center does not seem old enough unless she aged very, very, very nicely. I'm not saying the other ones look like grandmas or anything, but they got some age on them. So I'm wondering if they actually are the ones that were originally backed in that concert because, unless, like I said, unless it's just a staple of how they do their swaying and their dancing and all that stuff, then I guess it doesn't really matter. But. It's just a thought that I have. If any of you diehard Pink Floyd fans out there know if that's the case, fill me in. And they sounded so good, and they looked so, so sexy in that uh, in that sheer dress, too, man. Very, very cool. Nice, sexy moves, all that good stuff. The guitar, both guitar solos were incredible. I don't know who that other guy is. That's how unfamiliar with these people in uh, Pink Floyd I am. But that dude was shredding on the guitar. Um... Nick looked good back there on the drums. Everything sounded so nice. That is such such a good song. I wish it was a little bit faster. I mean, it's it's all right being slow, but if I had to have any complaint about it at all, that was my biggest complaint. Is I didn't really care for the tempo too much. I like it just a you know just a couple of beats faster. But that's all right. It was still fantastic. I loved it. The light show was awesome. It was a great pan out view of the of the crowd. Everything was so cool. So, guys, if you liked watching this reaction, consider subscribing. Hit the bells. Hit the comments. Hit the likes. Hit. Did I leave anything out? If I didn't, all that good stuff. Until the next one, you guys take care.